everybody, this is Alex Henry from Alex Henry Studios and we are at AWE, the Augmented World Expo in 2013 and we are debuting the XX Array which is right behind me. Uh, what it is is a 64 camera 3D photo reel photo booth and what you do is you step inside the photo booth, there's a little red circle of awesome inside there. You stand inside the circle of awesome and we shoot. In one fraction of a second we capture a dense 3D model with a texture. So what you get is a 3D photo that's photo real and lit uh, that you can walk around and, and see in, uh, in, in, th in uh, augmented reality. This is Francis and he was shot a little bit earlier and, and now uh, you can see it's a photo real 3D texture of uh, Francis. His arms are all cut off. This is what happens if you step outside the circle of awesome. You get you get your arms cut off. You don't want to do that. So I think uh, I think we're about ready to shoot Jack. Jack's going to get the the, the the special treatment here, uh, and Don is going to step him through the whole process. All right. So uh, Jack, what's going to happen is we're going to go into the XX array. It's a 3D photo booth. We've got 60 cameras in there, and they're all going to fire at the same time. And then those will be all pipelined into our machine. It'll create your avatar. Then we'll be able to see it right over here when we're done. So any like specific actions and things? You can do whatever you need to do. I just need you to stay within the circle when okay. you shoot, so that does the best mapping. Okay. Okay. So you just stay in that circle. Like that. And then this is the front. Okay. You can turn however you'd like. Okay. You just need to be aware that this is where the most detail is going to come into. Okay. 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 Give, give it a, a go. All right. We're going to go on two. One. One. Two. There we go. Uh, what you're looking at is a, a still from the array of Jack. And you see over here we've got masks that we've created, or difference masks. So what we did was we shot Jack, and then we shot one shot without Jack, and the computer is basically sensing the difference and pulling out a mask based on that. And that helps with the calculations and helps with the speed. The next step is we're going to build a point cloud. So we start building the point cloud. This process is where the computer takes all of the different images and compares them all and builds a point cloud based on the difference. So what you can see is we've got a 3D capture of Jack here when we're finished. The high resolution textures from the photo data. Okay. And then uh, Branford, can you give the block a spin for me? You might want to take your badge off. And so we just move our tracker, and we can spin all the way around Jack here. We've got a, a, a little bit of diffusion in there, but that's just because we hadn't take time to clean off the mask. We just wanted to render it out for you. There you go.